Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Unreal Engine 5.1 VR with the NVIDIA image scaling. Now, just a disclaimer, if you get dizzy really easily, do not watch this video, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So one of my New Year's resolutions this year is to start getting into environment creations, right? So what you're looking at right here is something that I put together using Quixel Megascan assets, which is free, by the way, if you're using Unreal Engine 5 or Unreal Engine, period. So here it is, and I try to pretty much copy something that I saw uh, in Iceland, which is, by the way, one of the most beautiful countries I have ever visited, ever. Really enjoyed my time in Iceland. If you haven't been to Iceland, Go make sure to check that out at least once in your lifetime. Uh, with that being said, here we are. This is running native at 4K, 60 frames per second. I have this recording at 4K, 60. And I think this is probably running natively, I think. Let's see, let me take a peek. Yeah, running about 50 frames per second on my screen right here. I'm using MSI Afterburner. And I'm going to try not to make you all dizzy, right, as much as I can. Uh, if you want to play around with this demo right here and you have a PC VR and you think your computer is going to be able to run it, check out the link in the description below. I'm going to make this available for you all to download. Okay? Now again, this is native without any NVIDIA NIS or NVIDIA image scaling turned on whatsoever. And if we look to the left side, you're going to see I have a little cheat sheet over there. If I press H, that's going to turn on NIS to 50%. Pretty much that's going to downscale my image to 50% and then turn NIS on. If I press J, that's going to downscale it to 75% screen percentage and then turn NIS on. And if I press K, it's going to be 100% native, which is really what you're seeing right now. Now, on my head right now is the HTC Vive Pro First Gen which I got for about $600. I think it was two Black Fridays ago, pretty much half off. And to me, native-wise right now on my headset goggles, it's still pretty blurry, all right? So what I'm going to do now is turn on NIS 50%, okay? And again, I'm trying my best not to make y'all dizzy here. So I'm gonna press H. And you're gonna see right away that the image gets sharper. And additionally, this is going to bring our FPS up. Let me take a look at my screen. Yep, this brought it up to 90 frames per second from like 50-ish. Now, we gained that FPS back because we scaled the image down to 50%. But we got the sharpness back because we're using NVIDIA image scaling. So, layman's terms, we're getting a sharper image with more FPS. And again, one of the cool things about NVIDIA image scaling is that you might actually have this in your computer right now, check in the control panel. All right, you can use this with a non-RTX GPU. And one of the cool things about using NIS with Unreal is that right now, this scalability for this environment is set to high. With that settings turned on, I can access the high quality translucency reflections as you can see there on the water. You can actually see the tip of the mountain right there. Okay? And again, I can move closer to that if I want to using my controller. Now I did try this in cinematic settings with everything cranked all the way up. Even though this scene is really not that big, I believe it's like 10.7 million triangles in this whole scene. Nanite triangles that is. Which is kind of cool. And if I get closer to this water, and I set my uh, player controller pretty tall, because I'm short in real life, at least in VR I can be tall, and actually see my hands in the reflection there, which is really cool. Now, this right here is incredible. And again, if you have a PC VR computer, what you're seeing here on the screen is really not that close to what I'm seeing here on the headset. Even though I have the HTC Vive version 1, this still looks pretty darn good. And eventually, this year, hopefully, during Black Friday, I can go ahead and get the HTC Vive, I think it's called Elite, which just came out, or gonna come out here shortly. 
I'm gonna check that out too, so I can upgrade this first gen. Pretty incredible stuff. Now this is the kind of VR quality I would definitely get behind. Because this looks amazing. Even just for small environments like this, it's still enjoyable. Because if you've never been to Iceland, at least you can go to Iceland in VR. Again, we have those nice water reflections over there. Eventually, we're going to have really, really, really powerful GPUs. Sorry, I'm wired, so let me go ahead and pull this back. I get tangled quite a bit. We're going to have really, really high quality GPUs that we're going to be able to run this at even higher quality in the future. Okay? All right, so now let's turn this to 75%. walk it's like I'm walking on the moon right now it's like I'm trying to stabilize it for y'all now if I press J this is 77% screen percentage with NIS on okay this is really really sharp now and what's cool about it is for the NIS I only have it set to 0.5 because I think setting it to 1 is way too sharp now this right here looks incredible. Let's see if I can get a thumbnail photo. Maybe right here. Thumbs up. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, what do y'all think about this little VR demo? I'm gonna bring it back to 50% because I'm pretty sure this is really laggy on your end. So here it is with us off and here it is with 50% uh, on. Now you can kind of tell we're losing a little bit of detail because these rock assets right here you can kind of tell it's a little smooth, you know. These are photo scan assets as far as I know. They are nanite though, so they're still pretty high quality. And I'm telling you, man, the addition of nanite and lumen to VR and Unreal Engine 5.1 is such a freaking game changer. And now with NIS and eventually DLSS also, the future is looking pretty good as far as VR goes. Pretty cool. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it for the demo. Let me know if you want to see more VR demos like this. And again, if you have a strong enough computer, go ahead and check this out. You can go ahead and run this EXE on your computer. I'll put the link in the description below. Check it out. If you want to support the channel, Go check out that link. Yeah, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.